Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to look at our first application of fields, which is the bubble chamber. So let's get started. So it says here that when a charged particle passes through a magnetic field in a bubble chamber filled with liquid hydrogen, it leaves a track of tiny bubbles due to ionization. As the liquid hydrogen causes the particle to lose energy and hence velocity, the tracks spiral inwards, i.e. the radius decreases. Particles with opposite charges, for example an electron and positron, will spiral in opposite directions, and this is shown in the diagram here. So on the left hand side we have the path taken by the electron, and on the right hand side we have the path taken by the positron. And we said they both spiral inwards, and therefore their radius decreases. So the radius of that circular motion there decreases, and so does this one. And in actual fact, this is an example of detecting antimatter, because positrons are the antiparticles of electrons, and this diagram shows the path of one one particle splitting into two things. Now because the electron and positron have opposite charge, they show this by spiralling off in opposite directions. Lastly, it says here any particles which are travelling parallel to the magnetic field or of no charge will continue to move in a straight line. So for example, if this was the path of an uncharged particle, then it would just keep passing straight through the chamber. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.